Hey everybody, John here with my friend Adam again. Today we're unboxing the Nintendo Switch. This will be the second attempt at this video, that's why the box is already open. We had some footage and his phone locked up on us, so uh, what we will do is I will show you guys the box, however we're going to wait. Instead we're going to get to the meat and potatoes first here. So inside the first compartment here we have the Joy-Con grips and the tablet itself. We'll get to that last here. And in here we have your other crap, and I think we'll start with this. So in here we have the Joy-Con grip, which surprisingly, Nintendo always surprises me with these intricate designs, but they're comfortable. So there's the Joy-Con grip, we'll set this over here to the side. Your standard, everybody knows what this is, HDMI cable. You have over here, it looks like the plug power supply, which I think my only gripe is why a box shape. It's not sleek. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. Have a look at it. Uh, again, we're, we're, we're new to whole, this unboxing thing, so it's not going to be a top grade unboxing, but here it is. I'm not sure what, what wattage this is. So we'll set this off to the side back here. And, and it also is USB Type C like the Switch is. Here is the useless. Nintendo Switch warnings and manuals, which will unfold real quick for you. And warranties and blah blah blah. Here's the front that no one cares about. Here's the back. I don't really care if this folds up right. Throw that behind the box. It's fine. Let's see what else we got in here. We got this Joy-Con straps. Tiny little sucker. Surprisingly small. Put that behind the grip. There should be another Joy-Con strap in there too, I think. There's, I don't, hold on. There it is. Shout out at us here. Here's a second one there. Put that right there. This is the dock. And it comes in bubble wrap! I think you got a little too excited there. <laughs> I will be playing with the bubble wrap after this unboxing. Alright, we'll that And then we have... Behind the box here. The dock, which... If I'm not mistaken, this is the front of the dock. This is the back. Which, this is supposed to come open, right? Yes. I'm trying to figure out how you open it. You should just be able to open it from the top down. Would you like me to swap you? Sure. Make sure we don't accidentally hit a button this time. There you go. So how'd you do that? Sure. You just, it just pops open. You just pull it open? Yep. There's that. So yeah, this is just for ease of hookup. You have your your ports and crap and your AC adapter, HDMI. All right there for ease of access. USB. See, and it's all labeled right there for you. If you can see that, the AC adapter goes here, USB is here, the HDMI out is here. When you're done, just close it up, and you're on your way. This is how this system will hook to your TV, like a 3DS. That hooks to your TV. Well, we're done there. Now let's get to the crap that we all care about. Excuse me one moment. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. We'll start with the Joy Cons. This is the left Joy Con in blue. Because in life, we all need a little color, am I right? Color is good. So, this looks like. So, it's designed like this so you can hold it. And then you have, in this case, it'd be A, B, X, Y here. Your L and your R's, which are okayly placed, I guess. That's why you have the Joy Con straps, though. I'm not breaking too much here. So, that's one Joy Con. We'll set this here. That looks like a relatively fairly sized screen. Yeah, I might be okay. For those wondering, we have vision issues. In other words, low vision. Uh, so the issue we run into a lot of the time, especially with like the Xbox One, because um, we have one of those as well, is sometimes we can't read certain things. 
with the system, so I'm hoping that this is going to be okay, but... Yeah, see here... Oh, you hold it like this. Mm-hmm. I thought you were supposed to hold it like that. Why is this not designed to be held like a classic system? I don't know. I'm an idiot. It's because they go they lock in like this. <laughs> All the way with the blue one. There you go. So right is an easy way to remember is right's on bottom, left's on top. So there's those. That's why the logo looks like that. The logo's the telltale sign. <laughs> box, learn to love me. I'm gonna rip, it, rip the box a little bit because we're not keeping the box, right? Nah. I'm gonna rip it a little bit so I can get in here. This is the granddaddy itself. I'm trying to be careful here. We're gonna get two separate switches um, for, because of our vision, and split screen may be an issue for us, so. This is the granddaddy, so let's see. Do these just. Can I just. Uh... Yes. And then this one. Ah, CP, now's not the time. Up, up more. Would you like my help? I can do this. Because I know your CP can give you a hard time. Maybe if I switch hands. Now this feels comfortable in my hand, I'm not going to lie. Here's the back of the, try not to touch your screen. This is the back of the uh, Switch system right here. Nintendo Switch, Nintendo, all the other crap. There's a kickstand back here. With the micro SD card slot underneath, that's right over here. Uh, so let's see. Doesn't it just pop out? Yes. Although you kind of need nails to do it. Any nails. I don't need I can't. <laughs> oh, go on. Here. You have more nails than I do. Anyway, there's a kickstand back there. Apparently, we can't get it. <laughs> so, this is the system itself. We'll set this right here. You get the Joy Con grip, which. You think we should show this? I think we should. Alright, so how do we detach these? There should be. Button in the back. This is new to us because we just got this like at noon today. So let's go ahead and check this out. Let's put these in. The system is not designed for people with CP apparently. This is not convenient. I can't get it in the groove. What is going on here, boys? Here. The top. Directly down. Like that. You got it? Yep. Again, new to us. Bear with us a minute here. Go all the way to the top. There you go. Well, that's kind of crooked. Oh boy. Apologies for the little delay. Ah! <laughs> you guys are going to enjoy our pain and suffering here. I may not use this thing. I can't even get it in there. And just push it down all the way. So this is what it looks like. Is it another one? There it goes. And then the other one. 
There you go. Finally. <laughs> 15 minutes later. This is a legit controller. It feels good. The only gripe I have is why are my A, B, and X, Y buttons up here? I'd rather have them, like, right here. Personally. Like, I think this and this should be flipped. Like, put Well, think of it as a traditional controller, though. That's true. So, now we need to release these, because now we need to turn on the switch and check it out. Releasing these things is simple. Getting them in for, for me, personally, is not easy to do, so. But with practice, I will get it. Like I said, cerebral palsy can make certain things now, you want to turn the switch on before you uh, put those in, because it'll tell you to put them in when you turn it on. Alright, so let's see. Power button, I believe, is on the top. Right or not. Thank you. There we go. I don't want to feel that power button. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Well, now, I guess it's a good thing, so you, yeah, don't, you don't accidentally bump it press, off. It. press it. Yeah, I'm all for that. Alright, now we need to insert the joy cons. Screen looks good. It's got that polished grade to it. Up a little more. That was satisfying. Where's the volume? Turn this up. This is satisfying. Everybody listen to this. <laughs> Careful. See my hand shaking? Yes. Up a little more. There you go. Don't think you have it pushed in all the way. There we go. And there we go. Why? Can you get it? Yeah. Here, hold this. Uh. There it goes. There we go. That's better. Stoop. Alright, so we're French, right? No! So what we want to do is we want to click English. We are in the Americas. By the last selection set button, we accept our, the terms in agreement. Which we do, because you can't use the system unless you accept these terms. Alright, uh, we'll pause the video while I put my Wi-Fi information in. Alright, now we're just selecting our country. Our time zone, actually. We need... Look for minus five. New York. Okay. I do not see it here. My theory is because it's maybe towards the top. Midway. Now you're in the minuses right now. Los Angeles. Phoenix. Denver. New York, Toronto. There you go. Down. Down. There you go. Do that later. Because Adam doesn't... Here, plan doesn't plan to use a TV mode, so. Do we have to detach the Joy Cons? <laughs> They're hard enough to get in, aren't they? One. I mean, I know this is a tutorial and everything, but still. <laughs>
I think you're hitting B. Alright, so what, uh, what picture do you want? You know, let's go with, uh, KK Slider. Uh, I don't think that was KK Slider. That's Splatoon Boy. Right. Your nickname will be Da Boss. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just call it. Call it just. We'll just call it Adam. Nice, simple, to the point. Not very creative, but it's fine. Unless you want that changed. I can probably change it later. So you're good with that then? Yeah. I'm gonna just tap OK here. There we go. Press OK. And we can sign in a link with a Nintendo account. Which we will do, but let's pause the video and do that. So, Adam here just enabled um, his Nintendo account, which it says here, you know, news about games, Nintendo eShop, and all that. Uh, the services include online games, it just walks you through. Use game specific services, online gameplay, play with, and use them super services on your smart device with classic game selection. I think this is the Nintendo Online service, but I thought that wasn't launching yet. I thought so too. Um, I'm gonna get my own switch, but we'll go ahead and add myself. Which I kind of do at once. Hmm. What we got under more options here. Okay, so I can only select from, from these uh, pictures, apparently, so... Uh, you know what? I like Zero Suit. We're gonna go with Zero Suit. Enter a nickname for the user. My name is Taco Bell. What is it with you and Taco Bell? Do I look like I know? Which, I'll just use my same, uh... Enter a name here. Because it doesn't let you put the 8 on. So I generally wish it the 8 as far as Nintendo's concerned. <laughs> I have a feminine side, YouTube, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> right, Adam? Mm hmm. Alright, uh, pause the video again. I'm gonna go ahead and set. Good. Um, so when you. Go to link your Nintendo account you have, sign or log in with an email address or sign an ID, sign into an external account, and when you click that, you know what, you have your email and you have your password. When you use this, you also can sign in using Facebook, Google, which I have these two linked. I don't and Nintendo Network ID. I think what I'm going to do is, uh, alright, I'm going to just use my Facebook, so Adam, go ahead and pause the video. Okay, so now that we're signed in and we've created both of our accounts onto the Switch, again, we're going to get two systems, because of multiplayer again, because of our eyes, we don't know what split screen is going to look like on this. We are going to probably do a Mario Kart experience to kind of see, can we do this? But it's still going to be nice to have our own systems just because. Anyway, uh, parental controls. Adam's under five years old. Let's go ahead and set that. No. <laughs> har, har. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and skip that. Set up complete. Press uh, the home button, which is on which Joy-Con? The, le the, the left, uh, the left one, right? This is left. You have them reversed. Shut up, George. So here's the menu. Um, looks boring. No class, no class in my menu. So here's news: Nintendo eShop, album, 
controllers, system settings. Now, one thing I do want to show is you can users me amiibo themes. You can, which I like that better because it's easier to read. Do you want that or do you want the white? I actually like that better. All right, so that's what we'll do. All right, so now. Let's look at um, how we do me's on here. So let's see. Me. Create an enemy. So create a me. Choose a little color, like copy me from amiibo. That's new. Start from scratch. I'm a girl. No, I'm just kidding. So let's have a look at this me maker. We have face, we have eyebrows, nose. Let's go I, if, uh, I, like, I like a rounder head. He looks so angry, kind of. He looks like, I don't want to be here. Look, look at this. Mm -hmm. Love you, Nintendo. Um, there we go. Nose. Yeah, let's go with that one. Face. I, uh... No. Uh, gender. No. <laughs> Glasses. We're not gonna bother with their style. Um, perfect. Eyes. I'm not making an exact perfect replica of me. So. You're serious. You can actually do that. I never expected that. Me either. It's fine. Nickname George. Okay, let's go. <sighs> I did not do that, I promise. I want to change his color. How do I do that? Favorite color? Yeah, here we go. My favorite color is Jade, which this might actually be. No, that's black. Black like the Dark Knight Batman. Um, yes, please. No. <laughs> so let's go ahead and look at these. There's red. Orange. Yeah. Yellow. If you like yellow, more power to you. Green. A dark green. I like jade, so I usually go with this. Here's blue. Let's go. Um, you guys ever get the urge just to create random me's from characters from like TV shows and things? Because I do. So there's blue. Here's the godlike pink. That is pink. <laughs> um, here is purple. For all you purple lovers out there. Here is brown. That does not look good with my hair. White. Dr. Me! <laughs> <laughs> and then we have black again. I'm gonna go with... My favorite color being jade, I'm gonna go with the dark green. So let's go back. Hi. So there's the Mii Maker. Now one thing I do want to check out is the Nintendo eShop on here. Let's do it. Uh, we're going to go in as me. Now, the Switch did have what you know what was known as the orange screen of death, which isn't actually a bad thing. It was just your system trying to connect to the eShop. So. 